Hello, and welcome to Vespers for the Advent season. It is our hope that in the next few minutes, you'll be able to center your hearts and minds on this season as we meditate on the birth of God's Son into our world. During this second week of Advent, we're focusing on God's love for us through the incarnation of Jesus. We use the word love all the time, don't we? I love this new show. Have you been to this new restaurant? I love their appetizers. Or don't you just love what I've done with the remodel to my kitchen cabinets? We've cheapened the meaning of the word love. Here in this season of Advent, though, we're reminded of God's love in the form of a person. And not just any person, but in a vulnerable, needy, and perfect baby. God loved us so much that He wanted to be with us, to walk with us, to talk with us, and to know what it's like to be us. And so, as we ponder this week what the incarnation of Jesus says to us about God's love, I invite you to focus on Jesus the person, and perhaps more specifically, Jesus the child. Advent reminds us of God's love for us, not in a metaphorical or abstract way. Instead, God made His love manifest in the person of Jesus Christ. Blessings to you this week, the second week of Advent. As we continue our meditation, pray this prayer aloud with me by speaking the response. Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, as we meditate on the gift of your Son into the world. As we think of your love in the form of a person, like Jesus in the arms of his mother, Mary. As we meditate on the love of God made manifest in the incarnation of Jesus Christ, take a few moments to slow down your breathing, bringing your body and soul to a place of rest. Breathe in deeply the presence of God. I want to invite you into the sacred practice of Lectio Divina, or divine reading. I will read aloud the scripture for today three times, each time inviting you into a different way of hearing God's word. During the first reading, I simply want you to hear the text. Let it pour over you as you continue to breathe slowly. This is the word of God from Matthew 3, 13 through 16. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. During this second reading, I want you to listen for a word or phrase that catches your attention or maybe even shimmers in your mind. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. 
At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. During this last reading, I want you to listen for an invitation from God. What may God be calling you to do in light of what you've just heard? Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. No matter what you've experienced in these moments of reflection, Take a moment and thank God for joining you during this time. As we close our time together, let me offer these questions and challenges for your reflection. Jesus is God's beloved. The good news is that God's disposition toward us is the same. We are the beloved of God. Take a few moments and imagine what it is like to rest in the arms of your creator. How do you feel? What does God say to you, if anything at all? Write down how you feel and thank God for naming us His Beloved. Thank you for taking these few moments to be with the Lord. We will have a new Vespers service each day of Advent, and it's our hope that you will make it a part of your daily rhythm. As we conclude, Speak this blessing with me. Make room in our hearts for the coming of your Son. Create space in our lives for the Messiah to take up residence in our home. And prepare our bodies to become vessels of the good news that Jesus brings. For the light of the world is coming. The light of the world has come. The light of the world is here. Amen and amen.